My daughter, Cora, has been asked to give a sermon in our church in front of everybody. Dad, I... They just asked me to give a sermon next week. Cora has a big fear of public speaking. I am freaking out. I like, I want to cancel it. I don't want to do it. But today, we're going to help her gain the courage to conquer her greatest fear. I know my home is where I belong. No matter how long I've been gone, it's where I belong. Okay, we're doing this. Welcome to the Ohana Adventure. <laughs> The scheduler called me and asked if Cora would like to give a talk or a sermon in our church in a couple weeks. She's in our, so young. In our meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they have the younger, the younger one speak. So I said, I think that would be great for her, but he should ask her first. Oh, that's awesome. Good. So she has a chance to say no or yes, but Cora's daring. I and think she, she Cora's really yes. brave. I She's gonna be just fine. I hear Cora at the end of the hallway. I'm sure she's gonna be fine. Oh, mom and dad, I, they just asked me to give a sermon next week. What? Yeah. So what did you say? I don't know. Not next you week. You said I don't know? They told me in two weeks. They told oh, yeah, yeah, two weeks. Two weeks or one week. But, uh, did you? What did you did respond? You, did you say said, yes? Yeah. So you said yes? Yeah. But I don't Did you say to. you don't want to? Yeah, because I'm nervous. I'm not really a public speaker person. You don't have to be a public speaker person. No, no. You know, like, um, mom and dad do it. It's fine. Yeah, but I thought, like, old people do it. Like, you guys. <laughs> old, pe old people? Okay, let's go talk about this. Yeah, let, we'll talk. We'll talk. <sighs> you guys, my mom and dad are in a meeting. And we're still here at the church, and I am freaking out. I like, I want to cancel it. I don't want to do it. I'm not really, I'm quite young to do do this. And so I just don't really want to do it. I want to cancel since we're still here. Mom, I really want to cancel this. I, I don't want to do it. Okay. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, come and sit down. Oh. Okay, so tell me how you're feeling. I'm feeling very, like, stressed, but like a sad stressed, and like, I don't Kind of nervous or something? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. It's totally okay to feel like that. Do you know that I feel like that when I give talks? Really? When I give when I give our sermons at church or when I give speeches for groups and stuff, I get really nervous in my gut and I feel like really stressed a lot. Really? Yeah, it's really normal. It's okay. Do you know that? Speaking in public is the number one fear. Really? Yeah, people wow. would rather like, I don't know, touch bugs or spiders or something than, than, than give us like a talk in, in public. Really? Wow. Yeah. So I we can totally go cancel right now. We can go tell him and he'll be fine. It's not a big deal. But if you want to think about it, this is something you actually really want to do. Maybe we could give it like, you know, a few days and then we could call him if you still don't want to do it. What do you think? No big deal. Let's go find the scheduler. But no, mom, 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 mom. I'll give it a week. Uh, I'll, I'll try it. You really don't have to do this. If you are really scared, it's okay. You can maybe get a little bit older and do it. It's fine. No, no, I want, I want to try it. I want to be brave, please. Just, okay. I just want to give it a week or something. Okay, you are so brave. Okay. Well, we'll give it a week. Yeah. All right. So, hey, hey, Cora, hey, hey, hey. how did that go? Cora did not want to do it. She wanted to cancel. Really? Yeah, and that's okay. Totally. You know, not many people of her age actually um, speak in church all the time. So, but I, so I said, it's fine, we'll cancel. And then last minute, she was like super brave. Cool. So what should we do? I think we need to give her some like experiences so she gains some confidence. Absolutely. And feels like really like confident about talking. Um, and then if she still doesn't feel good, then that's fine. You know what? What if we call the scheduler and she can get Cora to speak at the youth oh, meeting in a couple days. The youth counselor. Yeah. yeah. We have youth activities every week and maybe she can like just give a few seconds. Just to the kids. Like a minute. just kids there. Yeah. That's a great idea. Okay. That's a great idea. All right, you guys. We are at our chapel. The youth coordinator said they got everything arranged. Yeah. Cora just went in. I think this I think this is what she needs, right? Like practicing no, talking I know in front this of people. Is what she needs. This is going to I think this is going to really give her the confidence and and really help her.
Are you, was it really nervous? Like, did you, okay, yeah? How do you feel now? I feel good. Oh my gosh, this is so great. So, what are we thinking? Do we still want to cancel the sermon? We still have some time. No, 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 I, I just don't know what to say. You don't know what to talk about. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. We'll talk to Dad, and we can really, we can help you figure out what we want to say, okay? Dad, Dad, I totally oh. did it. Oh, awesome! Yeah, but like, what, what do we talk about? I don't, I don't know what to talk. What do you want to talk about? Like, if you could share something, what would you share? Jesus. Like, about Jesus. Jesus. So what is something that Jesus did that you really love? Um, probably like how Jesus died for all of us, and so that we can die and we can live forever with him. Okay. I mean, you could write 12 sermons on that, <laughs> and you still wouldn't finish it. I think that's a great one for you. Yeah. Okay. Let's go, let's go study it. You can study it and then we'll get back together and you'll write it. Yeah. Awesome. Good job though. My goodness. Okay, so how's it going? It's good, I have the beginning. Just good morning, everyone. I'm giving a talk on okay. how great the planet of our God. What about, um, where, where, where are you researching? I'm researching in Alma 42. I think uh, Dad said something about like Alma 42, that's a good okay. part. Okay, that's good, that's mm -hmm. good. So, as a parent, this is actually a really hard part because Cora, part of her, asks all these questions wanting me to write her sermon for her and part of me wants to go a little bit deeper into it which makes me want to write her sermon for her but this is hers this is all her so she really does have to come up with all of this and i think that is the way that it will help her the most because we really want her to have confidence in this not at the end to be like well you wrote the sermon dad or well you did this no this is all her She's got this. I just saw, I peeked in on Cora, and she seems to be writing really good, but she seems frustrated and really unsure of herself. Yeah. I want to help her some way. She needs like some kind of confidence boost. Um, what about, uh, you know, nice new outfit? What about... Dad always likes to spend money. <clears throat> no, I just know that power outfits give you confidence. That's absolutely true, okay. Okay, that's right. Fine. Like, this new jacket you got me for Christmas, power. Okay, all right, okay. I'm gonna take her to the mall. Yes. I'm gonna help get her a dress. Get her all cute. And I may do something funky to help boost her confidence along the way. Okay. Cora! Hey, yeah. how you doing up there? Uh, kinda good, I'm almost done. I think you need a new power outfit. Oh, yes! You wanna go? Mm -hmm. You want Sunday best? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we just got to the shopping center. I brought a fashion consultant with me. Ooh! Raquel, will you help me pick out a power outfit for Cora? Yes! Are we talking okay. dresses? Sunday yes. best power outfit. Okay. Because we're trying to help her confidence for the sermon she's ah. giving next Sunday. Got it. Okay. Let's go. All right, Cora. I have an idea. For you to build up confidence, yeah. I need you to compliment five people. Dad, I love your outfit. Like how your outfit looks amazing. Can't be someone you know. I'm not a person. Just how will compliment. you get over your fear if this isn't scary? You Just go compliment. Scary. Okay. I know who you are. Are you too? Yeah. Oh, what's your name? Ava. Ava. Oh, I have a doll named Ava. I love that name. Thank you. All right. See you later. Thank you. Can I have a photo? Is that okay? Totally. Yeah. Oh, Rachel, what do you think about these? We have this one. Pretty like cute. Cute one. Okay, dogs. I like the white one. That's very. Or we have the opposite. Ooh. Rachel, what could she pair with these to make it like a power outfit? Because that's me, what we're going for, not I just a dress. A, like a dramatic pop of color. 
Because that means, like, you know what you're doing. Will if you go I'm find something color? for her? Okay. So this one works either or. Always with a cute slick back bun and then a bow. Adorable. And power move with the bun, which is where these come in, right? You gotta have tiny hair ties. You can never go wrong with headbands, especially with that kind of dress, like the type of flowing, stretchy. And then a hair clip that is this beautiful. And if it's pulled back, power move to pull the hair back. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so Raquel, that challenge was actually not very fair. Because really? she goes and she compliments two girls, then a whole crowd of girls walk up to her like, I know you. You're from your own adventure. Unfair. And so she just complimented everybody, and she did it. Too easy. I, I mean, I did it. Did it build your confidence to go and talk to them? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right, let's go and get your power outfit on, go through your sermon, and see if you've got more confidence. Okay. This is it, Cora. Oh, I'm so nervous. There's so many people. better than me when I was 11. Mm. Great job. Thank you. Cora! Oh, oh. you did oh so my gosh. good. Mm. That was honestly amazing. Great. Typically amazing. it's only old people that get up there. So, <laughs> high five. All right. You conquered your fear, Cora. Mm -hmm, you did. were so nervous. Are you Can't proud of yourself? That. Yeah. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. Oh, you're so grown up. All right, well. Thank you guys for coming along with this journey and seeing Cora conquer one of her biggest fears. And I challenge all of you to go and do something that you're scared to do. It feels pretty good if you can get up the guts to do it. She's really good. Mahalo! Mahalo! Mahalo.